Here is a very good question on linear equation. The question is, the points A, 0, 7, B, 5, 4 and C, minus 5, P are collinear. Determine the value of P. Now, let us first understand what does collinear means. Collinear, right? It means what? Do you know it? Collinear means the three points are collinear. That means they lie on a line. So, so they are they are on a line, right? So that means they are collinear, right? They are on a line. So that is how you have to think about it. So basically, it means that if we, any, between any two points, you can always draw a line, right? So let us assume that we have a line between point A and B. So I'm just drawing this randomly and saying that this point, let us say, is A, which is 0, 7. And let's say this point is B, which is 5, 4. Now, if point C is collinear, that means it should lie on the same line, right? Somewhere here, right? Somewhere, right? So then it is going to be collinear. If it does not lie on a line, then it is not collinear, correct? So how can you test it? The best way is to find equation of a line going through any two points, right? So A and B are given points. We'll find equation between line A and B. And in this equation, we'll put the value of X as minus 5 and find Y value, right? So that is how we are going to solve it. So that is a strategy. So let's find the equation of a line through A and B. So first thing is, let's find the slope. Slope between A and B is what? Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1, right? Now in this case y2 is 4, so we get 4 minus 7 divided by 5 minus 0. 4 minus 7 is minus 3 and then 5 minus 0 is 5. So slope is minus 5 over 3. Now we can write equation in terms of y equals to mx plus b, right? Now in this case we can use the point 0 and 7. So 0 and 7 actually is a y-intercept, so I could have written b straight away 7, right? But I'll just go one more step. So we'll put 0 for x value, 7 for y value, and find the value of b after putting. So first, let me just write the equation as in the slope is known to us, minus 3 over 5x plus b, right? So slope is given to us. Now in this equation, I'll put the point 0, 7. So if you substitute the point 0, 7, then you can get, so I'm using the point a, which is 0, 7, right? So y intercept actually is 7. I need not do this step, but I'm just doing it to show you that this is y intercept, okay? Now 7 and minus 3 over 5, x value 0. So always you will not get a y intercept in two points. That's the idea, right? So if it is not 0, 7, but something else, then this step is very critical. Now that shows that 7 is equals to b. So b is indeed y-intercept and whose value is 7, right? So that gives us the value of, of b and so now we can write down the equation of the line. So equation of the line AB, so line through AB is what? Is y equals to slope of minus 3 over 5 x plus 7, right? So that is the equation. Now if point C lies on the same line then it is collinear. So we'll put minus 5 as x equal to substitute minus 5 for x and find the value of y. So it is minus 3 over 5 and x is minus 5 plus 7. Now minus 5 and minus 5 will give minus 1. So when you multiply you get y equals to minus 3 times minus 1. That gives you, or let me write like this, plus 15 over 5 plus 7, right? Now that gives me 3, right? 15 divided by 5 is 3. So we get y equals to 3 plus 7, right? So we can write y equals to 3 plus 7, which is equal to 10. So for x equals to minus 5, we get p value as 10. Do you see that? So we get p equals to 10 for us. So point C should be minus 5 and 10, correct? So that is our answer. If point C is at minus 5 and 10, or if P is equals to 10, then 
C is collinear to A and B, correct? So that is the answer. So the answer is that P equals to 10, okay? So that is how we should do this question. Now let's review how we really did it. So when it, we are given that the three points are collinear, it means they lie on the same line. So first we find the equation of a line. So we use two points, A and B, which are given to us. Find the equation of the line and then in that equation substitute the point minus 5p. So at this stage when you put minus 5 here instead of y you could have written p also. In that case straight away you will get p equals to 10 right. So that's that's how you can do it. So that is how we should do this but it's a very interesting question. I like you to go through this video understand the concept. That should help you in test. Thank you and all the best.